This problem is the last multiple choice question from the Mathematics Extension 2 paper taken in New South Wales. Three unit vectors A, B, C in three dimensions are to be chosen so that A and B are perpendicular, B and C are perpendicular, and the angle theta between A and A plus B plus C is as small as possible. What is the value of cosine theta? So I'll let you pause the video and have a go at it first. So to me, the best way to start something like this is to draw a little diagram. So we place unit vectors A and B perpendicular to each other like this. Um, we can know already A plus B is going to be this diagonal vector here. And now what do we know about C? It's a unit vector. Um, it has to be parallel to B. It doesn't say it has to be parallel to A. So actually we've got some freedom for where we can place C. It could be parallel to A. Uh, it could be perpendicular to A as well. It has to be perpendicular to B. So actually C could lie anywhere in this plane. And we want to choose the vector C um, such that the angle between A and A plus B plus C is as small as possible. So to me, it makes sense that in order to do that, we actually want to choose C to be parallel to A. If we do that, then like A plus B plus C is going to be something like this, and that would minimize this angle. If we were to choose C like in the opposite direction or something, or in a different direction, then this vector A plus B plus C is going to be like further away from A. So with that intuition, let's say we go ahead and let uh, vector A be 1, 0, 0, B be 0, 1, 0, and C be the same as A. We'll go through this sort of intuitive approach first, and then I'll talk about like an actual proof of why we can prove that this works. So then um, cosine theta using the scalar product formula, it's going to be this dot product divided by uh, the product of these two lengths. On the bottom, length of A is one because it's a unit vector and length of A plus B plus C is two squared plus one squared, which is square root five. Um, the dot product on the top is two. So this gives two on root five, which is option D here. Now, this is multi-choice and um, actually we can check that two root five is actually bigger than one on root three and one on root two. So given that we've shown it is possible to reach a value of two root five, it's the largest of those options there. We're pretty confident that that's the correct answer. Um, but let's now talk about how we could prove this a little bit more uh, rigorously. So we want to make theta as small as possible, which means we want to make cosine theta as large as possible. Okay, if you think about a graph of cosine theta, as theta gets smaller and smaller, cosine theta approaches its maximum of one. So we want to maximize cosine theta. Again, using our scalar product formula, we have this expression here. Expanding the brackets on the top, get um, a dot a plus a dot b plus a dot c. And on the bottom there, well again, length of a is one, it's a unit vector. And the length of a plus b plus c, we can use the fact that the dot product of a vector with itself is the square of the length of that vector. So this then is going to be the square root of a plus b plus c dot with itself. Expanding those brackets, uh, we get a dot a, b dot b, c dot c, two times a dot b, uh, etc. On the top, a dot a is one because it's a unit vector. a dot b is zero because we're told they're perpendicular. a dot c we don't know. On the bottom, uh, again, a dot a, b dot b, c dot c are all one. a dot b and b dot c are zero because we know there's a perpendicular and a dot c is unknown. So the only unknown quantity we have there is a dot c. So let's say we call that x. This then becomes one plus x over square root three plus x. And we want to maximize this quantity, like find the value of x for which this is a maximum. And we can show uh, using calculus, or otherwise that this function is actually an increasing function, um, particularly on the interval negative one to one, because this is X is a dot product of two unit vectors. Um, its maximum is one. So this function would actually reach a maximum when X is equal to one, sub that in, we get two over square root five. So yeah, I thought that was quite a nice little multi-choice question on vectors in 3D space. No. A, a, B, how's the C? Um, mm, A. Bo day. Where's your mom? Is it that we ate that?